Hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me. Happy Friday. I'm going to give you a few moments to invite somebody, spread the word around, uh, let everybody know that we are we are live here on a Friday, April 9. Friday, April 9. So share with as many groups as possible, with as many people as possible, and then let's get talking. Uh, today is going to be to be a very a very wonderful day. So let me let me do the sharing as well uh, to see that we get as many people as possible. It's Friday after all, and so no matter where you are, I hope I hope it won't be very noisy and you should be able to follow our discussion. I've shared with you the link through which you can get in touch with us. Okay, my name is Elias Moonsha, and I'm coming to you live from Calgary, Alberta on our platform on Facebook, on YouTube, and on several, at least two Facebook pages. So spread the word around. If you are able to, please like our page, follow our page on, on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's very important. On Facebook, one more thing, send us stars. When you send us stars, it appears like it's going to make our page very happy and it's also going to make Facebook very happy. <clears throat> because apparently uh, when, you, when you send us stars, it means you're paying us. Who wouldn't want to pay me, you know? Anyway, so, so that is it. Uh, please uh, follow, uh, share, share the word around. And uh, we have several things that we'll be, we'll be dealing with today. Uh, let me just uh, share as well. Just give me a few a few minutes. Let's see where are we. Here we are. Um, all right. Okay. So our agenda today is 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 very long. So first of all, we're going to deal with PFMCC applications. Then we'll deal with the UPND manifesto, uh, the Chuempola plan, and then Nichimbo Chamarero because. Uh, you know, in the UK and in the US, we have lost two uh, very important people. So we're going to uh, eulogize them for a little bit. And then I'm going to answer any of the questions that you might have, okay? Uh, so we, we, we are going to, to look at that. Now, let me start with um, the PFMCC applications. Now, one of the things that had happened when the UPND had their own uh, conference, Honorable Given Lubinda, you know, spoke out very loudly and condemned the UPND conference, calling it what? Calling it a, um, and calling it, uh, condemned it and called it a WhatsApp uh, convention. Well, that was almost like what we say, meaning, you know, monkeys, they laugh at each other's behind. And so, and so what we find is there was no sincerity at all in Honorable Given Lubinda's condemnation because a few weeks later, the Patriotic Front is actually doing exactly the same thing that they were condemning in the UPND. All right? So the UPND decided they were going to have their own conference, a virtual conference, and the PF are doing exactly the same. Now, not only did the PF learn from the UPND what the UPND did, uh, regarding the, the virtual conference, but even the entire system, they are copying exactly what the UPND did. So under the new uh, PF structure and the way they are doing it, they've asked all the members to apply as MCCs. And then President Lungu will be the only one who is now going to appoint officers from among the MCCs just like it happened with the UPND. Mm -hmm. So if you are doubting as to who exactly is leading who here, here, you have the answer. It appears like the PF copied exactly the system that the UPND implemented. Have everybody aspire to be MCCs and then appoint from there. Uh, it appears like the only person who filed in nominations for president is President Lungu. There is no filing for vice president. There is no filing for secretary general. There is no filing for any other top position. Everybody is going to file as an MCC. That's exactly what they are doing, including her honor, the vice president, uh, the vice president of Zambia, her honor, the vice president of Zambia. She is also um, 
Oh yeah, yeah. So so the vice president of Zambia, she has also done exactly the same. So she has filed in her nomination as an MCC. You see what happens when the system is becoming too complicated and confusing. So even the vice president, MCC, and then President Lugo is going to choose. It appears like um, the MCC aspirant, Honorable uh, Inonge Wina, is also interested in continuing as vice president. There are no indications at the moment that the 80-year-old wants to retire or anything like that. She appears to be extremely energetic. I think she has very good genes. She does not look old at all. She looks younger than her age, and she's very energetic. And the Patriotic Front has been using her, of course, to spread some very, very uh, funny and, and very bad things. Nevertheless, she looks fit. And so if she's aspiring to continue serving as vice president and the people of Zambia elect her together with President Lungu in August, who are we to say no? But definitely at eight years old, she has quite some energy and you can see, it, at least from what we see, right? When the camera is off. But from what we see, we are still able to see a very energetic eight year old, amazing energy. You know, she's walking by herself. She stands and uh, speaks in parliament. She's able to speak very coherently, you know, at eight years old. She looks very young. And so we hope that um, whatever she decides, that's going to be good. But uh, so President Lungu will have all these lists of MCCs and then from the MCCs is then going to appoint whoever is going to appoint. Chances that if uh, Mrs. Wiener still wants to be vice president, chances are that President Lungu is still going to appoint her. Uh, president Lungu is not going to uh, to do any any funny things over, over, over Mrs. Wiener. She's the owner of the Patriotic Front. Yeah, she's the owner of the Patriotic Front and uh, she's likely to to be to be to be to be the one that um, that is going to be picked as the running mate as vice president of the Patriotic Front and vice president of the Republic of Zambia, should the Lungu ticket win in August. All right. Do you agree with my assessment regarding the MCCs? Do you agree with my assessment that uh, uh, Mrs. Wiener is likely to be chosen as vice president and running mate? Uh, please let me know if you have any any questions uh, regarding that. Okay. Uh, the other the other thing is. The, 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 particularly the Bemba faction, okay? Some are calling it Luapula United, but I just want to generalize. The Bemba faction within the Patriotic Front, they know that they are the next in line, okay? What I mean by the next in line is, if, for example, Honorable Inonge, uh, her owner, the vice president, decides to retire, she says, for example, that she's too old and she decides to retire um, later, what will happen is that um, it, th that owner is likely going to fall on the, uh, uh, it's likely to fall on the vice, uh, on, on one of the Bemba candidates, right? Because I don't just see any possibility of President Lungu having any other running mate apart from either a vice president winner or a Bemba running mate. It will be political suicide if, for example, President Lungu decided to ignore the Bemba faction. It will, be, it will be war in the patriotic front. That's why they are all positioning themselves like this. Why do you think there is all this issue with, um, with, with Bembas in the patriotic front? It's because they know that President Lungu is going to go for a Bemba running mate if uh, have honor the vice president decides to retire. That's why they are all positioning themselves. Uh, to be to be running mates. That's where all this confusion is coming from. And uh, so some of the Luapulans actually, uh, th that's the reason why they are saying that they are being targeted, be it for over corruption, the people that have been cited for most corrupt uh, practices amongst the Patriotic Front MPs, they are from Luapula. And so they think that they're being targeted because there is a certain faction that does not want Luapulans to be one of the preferred candidates. But it is, it is going to be something to definitely uh, look forward to and see and see how that goes, okay, on PF MCC applications. We have seen all sorts of applications. We have seen an application from Bowman, and we'll see. We'll see who really has the gravitas 
to be able to be elected to the MCC position. It's, it's going to be very interesting. This is going to be one of the most interesting weekends in Zambia's political history, because we are going to see then who, all these people who call themselves heavyweights, they are now going to, 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 to face the electorate. And it will be interesting to see how that proceeds. Boman Lusambo thinks in his mind that he's able to uh, win at, as an MCC. I don't know. I saw his pictures of him mobilizing students on the Copper Belt. They're even saying that they are students for Bowman. <laughs> students for Bowman, you don't do that, okay? You don't do that. Even if, even if your target is being an MCC, you don't go mobilizing people. And then they have this huge placard that says students for Bowman. The reason is people misunderstand you, right? You don't do that. So obviously, by now, all the structures within the Patriotic Front are looking at this and they are thinking, what was Bowman thinking of organizing students with a huge placard and the students for Bowman to be MCC? That, how do you campaign from students to be, to be an MCC? It, it doesn't make sense, right? So if, if, if Bowman has any advisors, please tell him, you don't do that. You don't go mobilizing students. You have too many enemies already. So why should you be creating more enemies by mobilizing students with a huge placard at the, at the Bowman for MCC? You don't do that. Anyway, other MCCs are Mao Sampa. I think Mao Sampa is one of the good people that they need to elect as MCCs. Um, I understand JJ Banda, the, the aspiring candidate in Petaoke, he also wants to be an MCC. I understand Mr. Kaiser Zulu is also one of the aspirants for the MCC. So there are several, several people that are aspiring. And so this is going to be a very great weekend that we are going to see. Okay. Who else are you supporting? Who else do you think would make a very good MCC? Uh, but anyway, uh, those, are, those, those are the people that are going to be. All right. Uh, PFMCCs. Um, I have not seen whether whether Honorable Lubinda is running to be an MCC. <laughs> it's terrible what has happened to Honorable Lubinda, you know? It's extremely terrible. Yeah, it's terrible because he was one of the good people, but uh, yeah, he's been completely sidelined and finished. You see? That's the thing. That's the thing with the, with the patriotic front system, President Lungu. He has a way of finishing people, you know, finish where, where you are so finished that you don't have, you have no political capital, first of all, you have no uh, political uh, constituency, and then you are finished. That's what is going to happen to, to Honorable Given Lubin, unfortunately. And with the bad reputation he did over Bill 10, I don't think he has any, 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 anywhere else to go. The UPND manifesto, I downloaded it, I have it, but I've not had the chance to read it, okay? All I, the little I've seen is that um, the president, Haga Inde Hichlema, did present the manifesto today. It looks wonderful. It's about 20 pages, I think. I will review it, and then I'll come back to you. So, Mungereko, Njibere you know? And so, I shouldn't be talking about it. Njibere Njibere Mulomo. Manifesto. Elo wako sa poku laro ndoro definitivo ta uvele ngele. Chibi saan. Nishinara palaba pa Facebook. Awa kwa wabati tawe ngele kwa ino kwenu nefiyo le mbele. Ata mpa kwa kukutu ka. Insele shaba wafi kwa ndaka limo shaba mpepe. Kwa tu wako peta oke. Kwa za wansenga. Ewa tuwa ishi bati. Ewa kalipa. Mufia kula anda landa. Anyway. So, so I don't have, I don't have that. I, I have not yet reviewed it, but I understand it's a wonderful document. It is talking of national unity. It is talking of how the economy can be revived. It is talking of how the, uh, the, 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 the posture that the UPND, if it formed government, how it's going to be treating NAPSA contributions. It talks about how it's going to revive the economy. It's talking about free education from primary school to university so it has several nice things but i need to read it first when i read it i'll come back and and talk. i i, I intended to read it today if you know if you are but uh, but we have it 
All right. As far as the Chuempala plan is concerned, it's very similar to the UPN. Actually, the Chuempala plan and the UPND manifesto, they're extremely similar. Nevertheless, it's a distinctive plan, the Chuempala plan. It's a plan that is likely to bring development to, to Zambia, the Chuempala plan. And so thank you for following it and supporting the Chuempala plan as well. Uh, when it comes to to Ichi uh, Prince Prince Philip, the the husband of Her Majesty the Queen, uh, passed away today. He was ninety nine, right? Um, so so we we are mourning with the British monarch and the British nation, and all the former colonies and all the Commonwealth countries at the passing of of uh, Prince Philip. Very very sad. And also um, an artist known as DMX. I'm not very familiar with uh, the music he has done naturally, but I think um, it's a very sad day. So may their souls rest in peace. Gabari Vena Christunga to Achiranda, Tiberia Chistrasha, Vere to Peperaco, Pantu, Muntunga Afua, Vinshia Sangu Kamalaika, Pogotare to Peperaco. The last time when I posted about uh, some of you came with your theologies. No, that is understandable. You are talking to people, you are all right. So, no, it's just a way of expressing our sorrow towards uh, Prince Philip and Mr. DMX who passed away. And several people that have that have passed on, okay? Um, <laughs> any, any questions? Uh, Tobias from Ukraine Garden House. What is going on at that garden house you are drinking? Today is Friday. You are supposed to be at home taking tea, eh? Mm -hmm. Taking tea instead of... Uh, drinking. There is COVID. There are so many things. Elo mubualwa na ma problems. Yenge sana mubualwa. Emu abama problems mubualwa. So instead of taking uh, beer, you are supposed to be at home taking tea. Because muli tea tamu abama problems na mbuyamu. Except if you are chimpembe. <laughs> but, you know, so, so, but somebody commented whether at you see what Chakolwa if you have. When you tell them at don't drink beer because no, even tea, na your tea na ira chila ira kolwa, ira kola. Meaning he will be drunk at no kube pesha tea at in tea alenga. Very similar to what happens with umunkoyo. You know, you know why umunkoyo is so popular? Because umunkoyo is innocent. No banga wabira. It takes a few days of It becomes it it becomes alcoholic. It becomes a beer. So umuntu ukolelwe na lutoko kutabe pesho mungoyo. Ati why are you drunk at no in an actual no afio mungoyo innocent? The kanchi kanchi it was alcoholic. It was beer. You know. So that's why we are calling number. Kula be pesha. Kula be pesha fi. Dukula be pesho mungoyo. Ukula be pesha na tea. I've been taking tea for a very long time. Shikolwa. So number, how can a person say that na tea in a ira kola? Nishini tea am sango shan. Nishina mubi kamu if into you've you've put some you've mixed it with something for tea. Pogo wa tiku kole. Pantwine tea. It's been very innocent. Never, uh, never have I ever been drunk with tea. But but Mwandini, you can't know. <laughs> so in a kutin de Moragana Kari Mwam quite innocent. Can she din binga nan wati in the kolwa? And I have no I don't know. Hmm? Because sometimes nganao kolwa, you can't know, right? It's people who can tell but ah, there is something wrong here. We should have kolwa. You you just think that you're okay. Okay? I think that's uh, that's that's what has happened. All right. Dodi Tsanga, uh, HH will never rule Zambia. Mwadikui sawa Dodi. Mwasangu wa shani pano. Because inena ishibati, you've been blocked. How come you are here? What are you doing? 
Mteje she will never rule Zambia. Ne Zambia yako anoko. Why would you say that a church will never rule Zambia? Ne Zambia yako anoko. Ne Zambia yako alesa. Abena Zambia we nenga wa msari, nishwa msari, nga wa msari, nishwa wa msari. Ibu wa dodi chisanga. You have no role whatsoever. It's one man, one vote. So nga mwaranda at a church that will never rule Zambia. Te iwe lesa. Kutuwa seka. Te iwe lesa. Elo Zambia. Te yako anoko. Ati yo ni noko wa pangile Zambia. Poko wati yo of rights haya kulande fio lefo kulanda. No. Anyway, immediately after this, I'll block you again. The reason why I block you is because you don't add any value to debates. Nothing. You see? You are the only person that I block because you don't add any value. All these others are okay. But I'll, I'll look into, into you because um, I thought... Uh, and, and on what channel are you using? Because you are blocked. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be commenting. <laughs> anyway, Chris and Senga, my nephew. Ichimbo chama lirokoena. Yeah, gone too soon. <laughs> Prince Philip Onkandu, mwampera nation at Inkandu. Additionally, ya mchipingo. Ayin. Bonse. Wa, 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 Prince, wa Prince Philip. Additionally, ya mchipingo. Watusha. No, you will know mwere ule pupa. Ule, ule pupa. Eva le uleta. Prince Philip. How about it? I'm at 99 years old. Very close to my own grandfather, Pompo Lyongo, who passed away in 2016 at 100 years. 100 years. Very interesting. Shenda Zukas, the usual suspect, always shows up on this forum. <laughs> hey, I'm so surprised because he's not supposed to be, because he's blocked. I think maybe he's using the other, the other channel. Yeah. The comedy that speaks, eh, Mulembe Peshafi. Hmm? We've already got comedians that are doing a very good job, right? Yeah. I hear there, there will be no voting, but instead the delegates will just endorse the list of chosen people that will come from State House. That is likely to be the case. Because the Patriotic Front, there is no democracy in the Patriotic Front. You know? Uh, 80 years old. Yeah, yeah. She's she's quite strong. Both Nancy Pelosi and uh, uh, our vice president, they, they look quite young. Eh? 80 years old. They don't look old at all. Very, very young. So we wish her all the best. PF will never win elections. You think PF will never win elections, Richard Chivale? No. The thing is, you can't say that. This is an election. That's why you have PF, you have UPND. These are the leading parties at the moment. Two leading contenders, President Lungu, President Edgar C. Lungu, Dr. Edgar C. Lungu, and Ms. Haga in the Hichilema. Haga in the Hichilema. And I'm saying it just like the way Nawakwe says it. I'm not saying Haga in the Hichilema. Haga in the Hichilema. Haga in the Hichilema. You see? I'm speaking it in Tonga. Haga in the Hichilema. So there are two candidates here. The key here is for Zambians to know that there is a choice and choose for a leader who looks like good at take up we know and balungu na bafirwa bafirwa kuteka yeah so so we need uh, we need we need to do that but it's an election and so don't take it for granted that no um these people are just going to reject the patriotic front no the patriotic front still remains a very formidable force extremely right and so you can't dismiss it. You can't say, you can't dismiss it and say, you're at Pano no Sana, you beat the Patriotic Front. De Pano no Sana, Vani. De Pano no Sana. What you need is to continue working hard. If we are providing support from the air, there's got to be ground troops. And I believe they're doing very well going all over the country and ensuring 
that um, they win. So, so the UPND has President Ichilema has my of course. Why not? Why shouldn't I? Everything he says about how to develop the economy is clear. The manifesto that they've released is clear. It's wonderful. I've not read it critically. I'll read it, but it makes sense. It's very similar to the Chuempala plan. So why shouldn't people support him? Let people go ahead and support him. I saw a video of uh, Eastern Province where someone comes out and says, um, uh, Mr. Hichilema should not rule because I got to dump you. I mean, it's bad. Some, some people are thinking that I got, I got to dump from today province no um, all those are just uh, uh, propaganda and lies that people are trying to formulate, saying that the UPND is a tribal party or Mr. Hitchlema is a tribal person. No, I've met him. He's a very nice gentleman. I had a very good chat with him. We prayed. Me, the two of us, in the community house, in the, li in the living room, me, seated here, and President Hitchlema seated at the next seat. Hmm? It was not a very long meeting, but it was a good meeting. We discussed about, he asked about my children, he asked about Chuempala, he asked about Milenge, uh, he knows where, in an for which they introduced, the, Mr. President, but don't even mention Nadi Kuishiba. Left your Chitavjons and Nadi Fishiba. Nagu Chuempala, Loko Wafuma, Nadi Kuishiba. Nandondo, we recognize my events that were happening in Chuempala uh, those days. <laughs> this is what was happening in Chuempa. Now I about Milenge because I visited Milenge too. This is what is happening in Milenge. So he's a very well informed and engaged gentleman. If you go to the Yeah. At you pick Zayelo, there will be war in the PF. Yeah, if he picks Zayelo, if, if President Lungu, for example, picks any person for, apart from the members, there will be war. <laughs> you think you think you think you think there will be there will be peace? There there will be war. The only person that the Bemba faction is respecting right now is Vice President Inonge Wina. Once Vice President Inonge Wina gives an indication that she wants to leave, then President Lungo is under obligation. Yeah, he's, he's, he's under obligation. President uh, uh, Lungo is under obligation to appoint a Bemba. That's why they are positioning themselves. Kampiongo positioning themselves. Ngandu, uh, Dr. Boalia Ngandu positioning himself. Everyone from Luapula, they are positioning themselves. That's why they are positioning themselves. No matter what bomb and loss happen, they never have any more. We just should not be shy. By Tumpa, we never had it. We could be one of the choices, right? Yeah. If the running mate is somewhere, is someone else, you'll see what will happen with the reports. Okay. Uh, isn't energetic. Ah, in it, from what we have seen, we've seen her walk by herself at eight years old. She carries on speeches in parliament very well. She is in her office. I don't know what you, what you mean. We've seen younger men dozing. No, 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 but we have seen younger people, younger men, dozing in parliament. But the eight-year-old um, Gogo, no. She looks very alert. She looks very energetic. And uh, apart from the lies that they make her read out in parliament, she appears to be a good person, you know. But if she decides to retire, then 
her successor is going to be uh, huge, huge issues. Yeah. Tonga looking good. Looking, looking good. Pesa pamenso. I love Wafia. Looking good. Uh, KBF is still running for president. Interesting. I think he's still running. I don't know. Um, would you would you vote for him? Yeah. Would you would you vote for him? Yeah, Bowman is a is a comedian. Lubina should be retired, I think. Easy, the coin is still spinning, eh? Yeah. Avansenga kunsere niwa kanye kanye. Eh, avansenga. Nava purusha wabalala. I think sengas na wabalala because they are neighbors. Firom fuana. If we now go back to where we were, we were to I think we were pulling to a water fire can one, but we must all let the power sana. You know what I mean? To a water fire talk time, but we must all let no. You know, we were now pulling. Very, very peaceful people. Hmm? But better okay. And our blue shabu abalala, but never. Uh, Ephraim Jr., DMX was a Christian. Yeah, I think so. They are all Christians. Yeah. Oh, DMX is a Christian. Okay, thank you. We hope, uh, even Prince, the Prince Philip himself, they are all Christians. Can you to Peperaco? Can you to Ara Lombogo at DMX, Avayashba DMX, Navayashba Prince Philip, Ballet to Peperaco? Yeah. Highlight more about the Chwempala plan. I've I've been talking about it over my videos. Yeah, so it's an it's, it's an economic approach, and a new way to 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 govern Zambia, a new way to take Zambia out of the current debt situation. In Kongole, you know, how do we deal with Kaloba? How do we deal with uh, with with running the economy? Are parastatos good uh, uh, from the Chwempala plan? No, no. You know, you attract direct foreign direct investment. You keep government out of businesses, and then no corruption and common sense approach to to solving problems. Yeah. What does "wakwetu" mean? "Wakwetu" "wakwetu" is one of the words that has several meanings and it cuts across several tribes. "Wakwetu" starts from you know northwestern to western province to to Swahili, which is one of the Zambian languages. And so it just means my friend, my relative, my colleague, our people, my family. Uh, that's what it means. Vakwetu. Okay. Vagachinyama, because of the V and B, they would say Vakwetu, right? Otherwise, it's the same, the same, the same uh, a word. All right. So it's a Luba Lunda word that simply means my relative. Okay. I think the PF is likely to disintegrate into two. There will be PF, KBF, and there will be PF Longo, most likely. Yeah. Uh, Bishop Joshua Banda wants the Presidential Empowerment Fund. I told you, I told you that if ever been the Kainge, actually, this, this money should not even be called a Presidential Empowerment, Change Presidential Empowerment Fund. It's a Pentecostal Empowerment Fund. Ishnim Biashaba Pente. Chesu Ifaba Pente. Tatua Valezi. We don't even need to read the fine print. If as long as Umuntu Atuba at Nimi Kuatira Kwaka, no, no. We are Lesa Natevi. Apa Tevita Lesa Tapafu Kachush. That is our approach to these things. So why should we even uh, read the fine print? But. When Bachim Pempe read the fine print and happy Sabbath, could he move on to Bachim Pempe? Now, I got told you, now, but I'm a fine print. I want to know because this money apparently it's like um, Kaloba, it will be a revolving fund, so the churches will be participating in a revolving fund. Every Bachim Pempe, Bach can in Okovat, that is not how they rule, they run their church affairs, then they run their church affairs on giving. Noti, Ubangem Kongole. 
Ero no mbaba ntu waisa mku kongola from the central fund somewhere. Ero mbaba le uwe shepano no pano no. Ero mwa kongwe shepambi. Bachi mpempe webele no. We are not going to let Caesar come in, not only give money, but try to rule and run things from, from the central office. That's what happened. Number if we if we we don't care. Now we need to think fund you need to pay and then the fund will get fund to finish. Chashu pafie Satana. We blame it on Satana. To carry that you Satana walenga. At him pia shirikuisa. When the government comes looking for this lunda lunda, at him shirikuisa. To carry that no, ni Satana. Satana ewa. Satana ewa ibide. That's what we'll say. But in the meantime, as painters, we are going to use it. Um, so is it surprising? It's not surprising. This is Pentecostal Empowerment Fund. That's what it is. Pentecostal Empowerment Funds. I don't know whether the United Church of Kaunda is going to receive the money, but uh, we have not received any indication so far. Um, maybe they're still reading the, the fine print, and after they've read the fine print, they are likely to come up with a position. Number five, about Pente, that we are lazy. And to the Lord has provided, eh? and the Lord can use anything. That is Pentecostal theology. The Lord can use anything. So if the Lord can use anything, it means then that even if it's a corrupt government that gives us money and provides a breakthrough to us, we can receive because God can use anything. That is Pentecostal theology. So sometimes we are not critical. We, 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 we look at matters uncritically, right? We do not concentrate on the fine print. We usually concentrate on the bigger, bold letters. So if you say that you're going to give me money, I don't care who you are as long as God is using you in our theology. God is using you to bless me. All right? That is the Pentecostal theology of blessing. Number uh, 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 Chimpembe, they have a different view. Uh, they think that in order for God to bless you, you know, if you're the right channel. All right? That's why my conclusion was, yes, I'm the one who told you here, if we were we will receive these funds. Number, why should this be so controversial? It means that actually you as the state, change. You need to reflect on your own actions. Number is playing victim. What is happening? I'm so humble, but why should the church reject the fans? When he was speaking to a group of the Christian coalition, which is, I think, a group of Pentecostal clergy. Yeah. Why should the church No. If you are my church, Anyway, we'll see. Jesus turned water into wine. There is nothing wrong with Catholic beliefs. No, 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 no. When I'm talking about churches and their beliefs, I'm not saying that there is anything wrong with them. I'm just trying to highlight how cosmetic our religious differences are. And of course, I poke fun at some of these things so that you can lighten up and realize, wow, okay, we are actually just one country. <laughs> you know? And so, and so some of the theologies that we believe in, they have, they have no rational basis. So, so it's not like this is the truth and this is not the truth. It's just difference of the way we approach some of these things. Like Imova Catholica, Vacha Colova Catholica, number one. You're saying no, because Jesus made, uh, made wine, so can you to feel open no one over Colua? Number if we, no, we got a cot off your way, got a cocoa, and I got a cocoa, one inch, war. I'm a demon there, the Mubuala, yeah, it's a money. Yeah, anyway. That's uh, that's that's it. Of course, of course, I'm not saying that I'm just trying to make you and using you to try to make you understand how cosmetic are the 
practices of our religious things. That's why when the state, Buten, wanted to say that Zambia is going to have Christian morals, if we knew whether uh, there were no Christian morals, but if we have a will pay the day in the constitution at, at Christian morals. Christian morals, we, is beer, uh, when you say Christian morals, what is beer? Is beer Christian morals? If we as well paint uh, our Christian morals, but if we as, as well paint the Christian morals, means don't even touch. We can show we can go kuchibotolo, nago kukabotolo. We can That's our morality. Bagatolika, it's different. Then Bagatolika, but yes, wali bupango walo. At the Lord made beer, did the Lord make beer or wine? Under the circumstances, I can't, I can't, I don't know the difference. Huh? Maybe Mr. Crazy can tell us whether it was beer or it was wine or whiskey or lutoku. I have no idea. Or munkoyo apangire. But whatever he made, out of there, Bagatori Kavati, Kanshu Walwa is is Christian. No kunwa efe banwina. Nabu chakolwa efe waingiri na mukatorika. No mba ifu ba pente no. If any juice, tea, water. Juice, tea, water, and Coca-Cola. That's all. Gatwa kolwa to kolerwa mumpash. Because we go to that scripture that says, eh, do not be drunk with wine. Instead, be drunk with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's very interesting, you know, very interesting. And do not be drunk with wine. Instead, be drunk with the Holy Spirit. Is that Peter? So out of there, naifutu wa ipanga poka, theolo jaka kweba ati, tatunu obo alwa, tunu omu pashi. Na angutule monika kwa nato kolo wa, it means nato kolo, nato kolo wa Holy Spirit, under, under the power of the Holy Spirit. And it's not as expensive. So instead of imo mo wa temo bucha koro, isenfiyo kupente, eh? Kupente komuise, mule kobo wa robo amtengo. Why should you be spending money on beer when you can come kuli for ba pente? And if we are if we are ba pente, tunuafiye, tunuafiye ti. Yeah. Victor Kavimba, nete ni dia shamti shat. Maui shat, songolo. Uh, yeah, because the Nalisanashadiakopal, Empowerment, <laughs> so, so, Kuliama empowerment, I So, Kuliama empowerment, Kuli presidential empowerment funds, Nimpia Shava Shava Lungu, presidential empowerment fund. It's private funds, Shava Lungu. And then there is another fund known as Church Empowerment Fund, but with that COVID relief for churches. Now, it's different. But the bishop 
Baba kuchipata. Na bachi mpimpi. Baba kuchipata. Na baka na fiance. Ukweba no, don't, don't involve the church. Na ine, the funds that are going to be distributed by the Minister of Religious Affairs and, uh, and National Guidance. Na baka na. Baka tolika. But no, it's not, um, we are not going to receive it. Because kai ngati muli a certain fine print. It's like kudishimu mpiesha free. Era namba kudimpia na shimbisha ka revolving fund. So ngaba pere i change if we reyabu esha over a certain period of time. Yeah. So namba kwa tibaka todi kanaba chimpembe. Because of their own internal system of money, kwa tse tifibombe wino. Yeah. Namba ifo ba pente, we don't care kai ide. Nga sha dumbu ide mpia nishini ifo fine. Nishini satana. Tukawe pesha satana. So thank you, Victor. Sorry, Paco Miputula. Uh, but Geoffrey Chinyantabati, at when you die, you become an angel praying for the living. That's not true, mister. It's not biblical. Okay. It's okay. Your comment is fair. Mm. Uh, your comment is fair. Alasangu <laughs> kamalaika. Aya kwa alesa. Hmm? Elu nombata mpo kuna tupepena kwa. Whatever. Tawafu wapo. Hmm? So yu wawo ushafu wapo wa ishi bashan. Hmm? Ushe Bible, ya li chita clarify, fiyonze fi chiteka pa umuntu ngafu wa. Because some scriptures, aya ba chitawala. From the same Bible, ba chitawala balando kwa watu umuntu ngafu wa ni ishichapo. Hala hala. Ba chitawala. Na wena vena kristu. Hello, I got told you. that you want to go for first. Allah in the holding cell first. <laughs> no, no, it's predatory. Hello, I'm going to pepper. I'm going to pepper. I'm going to wear too long, too long. I'm going to pepper. I'm going to pepper. I'm going to number as a fiampuka. Uku fiampuka from predatory. Uku ya komu. Hello, if you're paying, that was me. No, I think I was for paying. You go in what we call Abraham's bosom. Emu ambo kulolela. Until the day of judgment, number when Jesus is going to come. Some of our theology say when Jesus is going to come, a case and I for forever for Muri Muri Yesu. Ukuisa Pokova is to case the shani, to case the help, face of face judgment, and then help him establish the new kingdom and uh, and then and then be part of the of the of the judgment. When he says that Jesus is going to come and is going to come with a with a crowd of people, it's those people that have died in the Lord. So, it's complicated. I don't intend to teach theology on this broadcast. I just intend to mourn people that have departed. And I use different terminologies and different words. Imoguko support, this is not biblical, this is biblical. For no reason. All the time. To learn like about whether <laughs> Just continue trusting God and being a good person. No to kula fipanga kona kanimo. Imo fe muasu mina about death is is the truth. Inefe na ishwa fe kovat. Mufire mu aba born again. No kuba vena Christo. No kula. No kuba fe kui. No kuba ntu kuba fair. No kuvo te la vante ova kutu afuirisha. No to kwamba koko kula laka about what happens after death. We usha fu apu. So in each one day, Gande Losha and to have a four, eh? Abanandi, twenty four in our cohort when we were uh, ordained as, as preachers. Once Abanandi Batat Bagatongo Bangandwe Nabana Tembo, nine twenty four. Once Abanandi Batat, Baritusha. So in a Mukulosha, there and over at our water to watch session, very in Peperaco. Panto wa baba tatu nomba ni baba malaika. Bare mpepe lako. Nomba imu na rande vevi chami kalipa. Ati yo, mungete tulande vipa mbi it's not biblical. Ha, iwe. Nga na kutila wadish vefi ya ba biblical. Ife fine kanji fisende. Ati tafi ya ba biblical. Ain, tafi ya ba biblical. Nukulanda ati ba ngandwe. Na waga tongo. Na wana tembo. Bare mpepe lako kwa lesa. It's not biblical. Then 
Mm -hmm. Then if you just take it, just take it easy. Yeah. Okay, this will be an interesting. Uh, Christopher, why, why do most Africans' politicians change and start saving themselves? I'm a non ID. That's why they change. That's why to call No, The reason why we do It's because we want to humanize leaders, um, uh, humanize them, and and we are not going to change if there is a new president who will continue humanizing them. And that is the spirit of Zambian democracy. The idea that a president does not suddenly become God. Mm. The theology, Allah Shupa, Imwe. Stay away. I'm not, I'm not trying to be theological here. I'm not trying to be theological here. I'm not trying to be theological here. I'm not trying to be Explains death as a reversal of dust plus breath of God makes a living soul. Mm. Council, is the 50 plus one still in our constitution? And if so, do you think it will be attainable in the next election? It's part of our law. Very unlikely that uh, uh, any party is going to beat 50 plus one in the first round. Yeah. Malcolm Jala, is the church empowerment also available for Hindus, Muslims? Yes, it's available for all religious denominations, including Muslims. They can access it. Um, Katenda Solomon Kazem, the masters of divinity has confused your theology. <laughs> uh, yeah. Aye. Which, which theology has it confused me? When you say that my master of divinity has confused my theology, what do you mean? Which theology? Which, which theology is confused? my evangelical theology or the various other theologies of my fellow compatriots, my fellow Zambians. Right? All, all I do here is to try and stay clear of theological controversies. Right? That's all I try to do. So, so, so theology, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Otherwise, thank you very much. Unless there is any any other questions or contributions. Yeah. It seems the PF likely to win despite their failures. I'll consult you for your legal services with regards to a visa. Okay, I'll talk about my visa services at a later stage, maybe in one of the broadcasts, so that uh, you, you are clear about the kind of things that we do. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm back to you, Kavimba. I want you to say some concluding remarks. Okay. Uh, but see, Bangu is a sorry, uh, but see, ni the Fili Mupatia, it topic that quarter, but see, now the Bako Katana is a Okay, Mlevo Kavimba, Mlevo Kavimba, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. sure. In a, yeah, in a dash, the party cyber crime face, sorry. Uh, let's say, for example, an affair is trying to define me once to go clarify in the party of Patkos and I shall relax. Yeah. Let's say, for example, Imwe, Mudibanan, for example, to Arishivana, Amanaka. Yeah. Then Imwe, Nam Kata phone. Hello, your phone, Mkwete, Defile in the Ukloginga Polim, if in the Facebook, for example, if you know what I mean, the cyber client. Hello, your phone in a logging up. Then in a stackle in something in the Mifi, if you want to Facebook, but in a post of a party, if it is sensitive, if you do within the cyber client. Pushe winga winga sawa affected at times just in case our power wanted in the Indi, we use your cyber crime because you ramon to now shock that TV, Bali Nisha. Ero then you ramon to one bokumu fire. Number we showed them to Angataka, but what I'm saying, I wanted to do 
na gadget ba won fisho uku start transfer fi dafin fiya ba pa social media en ga sabe la ma affected zan mu ne wa account ro wa login ne no 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 i think i think yeah um i i think i think we are getting too complicated about the cyber the cyber crime bill the thing is umuntu wa pangomulando they are going to come after them and according to the cyber crime and cyber security uh, bill they they are going to have access to a particular computer that is used to commit a crime right it's up to them to prove ko but uyo we never eka ta emwine so so going into all these details of who owned what device or whatever it is it's just a, a waste a waste of time at the moment really and we will not know how the cyber security and cyber crime act is going to be used until we really see it in operation so so there is a lot of speculation out there um at the moment but the state has already been prosecuting people that commit crimes on online already there is a there is a farmer right now who is facing charges of is it pornography or having knowledge or against the order of nature um and he's being prosecuted on the on the old law and they went and examined their phones and they have all the pictures that they are viewing um yeah so so go, getting into into the uh, implications of which phone you use or anything like that it's it's just too complex it just complicates matters um and the thing is let's stay away from crime as much as possible whether be it online crime or otherwise right but is criticizing president lungu a crime no is insulting president lungu a crime yes what is an insult against president lungu if you call lungu chati le chobe it's an insult you are in in jail for it if you say president lungu ta bale te ka bueno that's a not that's not an insult it's an opinion that you are forming on the basis of how he is ruling chati le chobe is an insult in fact most of the people that are facing a de- criminal defamation charges against president lungu are those who insulted lungu as chati de chobe okay and of course uh, uh mr mr chimba kambuidi used the words ishimbwa shakuchawama right now if they connect ishimbwa shakuchawama with with president lungu and the judge finds that there is a connection there that is likely to be to be a crime okay but kwa libenso sero shimwesha mchibemba isha kwa but it's not really an insult are you going chumbo munsholorwa for example if you say lungu ni chumbo munsholorwa would that be a criminal defamation i don't think so so what is my opinion my opinion is citizens should not be insulting lungu what is an insult chati le chobe is an insult okay should citizens continue holding lungu accountable yes can can citizens say lungu tabare teka win of course There is no one in Zambia who is going to arrest you for making up the, your mind that President Lungu tabateka bueno atabateka via madongo dongo no there is no one who is going to arrest you for that okay yeah so so we shouldn't be afraid of saying holding this government accountable it says that they want the truth but um, under what standard are they going to have the truth our constitution guarantees us the right to make up utuma utufintu tumot moy in our minds you know the the constitution of zambia does not hold citizens to the higher standard of truth beyond a reasonable doubt so can we speculate that lungu is stealing stealing of course you can speculate you can do that because that's part of the general um uh speculations that human beings go through all right okay but if you insult him you are you are in for jail and the reason why a president should not be insulted is because they 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 hold an office a very important office and they are the the depository of state powers um a symbol of the state so so they shouldn't be insulted i don't advocate for the insulting of the president that of course i i like it when people mock him you know nangu balongo muli bakote nangu balongo pamenso muli basuma nangu pamenso tamuli basuma or something like that it's okay right because that's part of our democracy that's fine 
Nangwati walungu muteke vya madongo dongo. Nangwati walungu mulibatari. Nangwati walungu mwali taishi emishishi. Instead of gray, mwali vika mwo. <laughs> Go black in your hair so that mwale mwale kanga kaichi. Those are not, those are not insults, right? So, so that's, that's very clear. Um, someone insulted him, you know, insulted his mother. No, I, that's not tolerable. I don't think, I don't think that's good to subject the head of state to such insults. Um, but everything else is, is, is freedom. I think, um, I would, I would definitely, um, advocate for freedom in that in that way okay but if you are take if you are dongo 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 li dongo li okay um somebody is saying that if if there is a chance that you can go back to your grace ministry days i don't know what you are talking about go back to which grace ministry days you are you are going back to which grace ministries days i'm i'm a pentecostal preacher i'm an evangelical I'm an assistant pastor here in Canada. So why do you want me to go back to Grace Ministries days? To do what? I served Grace. I'm still a member of Grace Ministries. It's still my church. I'm still holding my, my, my ordination with Grace Ministries. So, so going back to which Grace Ministries days? I'm still Grace Ministries. Can't you tell me I'm Grace Ministries? I'm Grace Ministries. I'm a pastor in Grace Ministries, ordained. Eh? I'm even gazette to go fear Bantu. So, you can call me from here in case, in case I'm you fear. I'm, I'm an ordained preacher, reverend in Grace Ministries. So, going back to which Grace Ministries? On this platform, I address people from all different uh, backgrounds. That's the calling that God has given me to come in and, uh, and, and talk to my people, Zambians. And so what I do sometimes does not appear like it's ministry to you, but it is. All right? And there are excellent preachers still in Grace Ministries that are preaching. No, but when I do not give me your vision. But there are some preachers that whose calling is just preaching. And to show us uh, the, the, the theological perspective from a Pentecostal perspective. I have no problem with that. But I have a problem with people that think that when I'm talking to a general audience, then I must tell the general audience my theological perspective of things. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to promote values. I'm going to say that there is no corruption that is... We, we don't need to have a corrupt country. I'm going to say that we need uh, faithfulness to our country and patriotism to our country. I'm going to teach the law. I'm going to say that we are going to uh, uh, follow social justice and follow the rule of law. I'm going to teach law. I'm going to do all, all these things. But on whether you want me to be a preacher who preaches on these, um, on these fora when I'm talking to my fellow citizens, no. <laughs> No, okay. No, I'll not. I'll not do that. Okay, so 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 there is no there is no returning anywhere. I actually like the varying points view here, openly expressed and then suppressed, but which spurs discussion of national issues without fear, kicking back and watching as usual. <laughs> yeah, but what you need to know is I do belong to, uh, to, to a faith, a Pentecostal faith, which has undergone a lot of change and development. All right, our our Pentecostal uh, ideology and our Pentecostal outlook, and as an insider of the Pentecostal movement, I do look in the, our own system, and and I want to advocate certain changes in the way we look at life, in the way we look at the state, 
in the way we look at theology, in the way we place ourselves as citizens in Zambia. One of the biggest problems that I've noticed and I've been outspoken about it is this attitude that we developed as Pentecostals, particularly after the declaration of Zambia as a Christian nation, which was very good. But instead of using it as a way to serve the country, we started using it as a way to Pentecostalize Zambia. And I'm saying, no, we shouldn't do that. Let's all we know about Zambia, they become more different people. Where did we get the guts to believe that because Zambia is declared a Christian nation, therefore it must become a Pentecostal country? No. <laughs> and the idea that when we have power, we are going to let and rule just like everybody else. This country has been corrupt under Pentecostal leadership. Now, I'm not saying that Pentes are different from Bakatolika, because in Bakatolika, they are corrupt. In fact, they are much more corrupt. But what I'm saying is, when we as Pentecostals are supposed to be serving our country, we are not doing it. This government is a Pentecostal government. This government has the ears of Pentecostals. The Minister of Religious Affairs herself is a Pentecostal reverend. Lungu listens to Pentecostal preachers. And what have we done with that visibility? We've not done anything that is going to help our country. When we had the chance, we agreed with Lungu to introduce Bill number 10. And we were oblivious to the implications that Bill number 10 was going to have on the national democratic value of our country. We told him, go ahead as long as you make us Pentecostals, the arbiters of morality in this country, go ahead and destroy it. I disagreed with that. And I look back and I really thank God for the grace that he gave us during that time to stand up to our Pentecostal bishops and tell them off. <laughs> Ati ifi mwambo kweba tilungu wa chinje constitution, tefia kwa lesa. That's what we did. They called us names, they called us certainness, they insulted us. But look where we would have been had Bill 10 passed. And Pentecostal bishops were on the forefront of the Bill, bill number 10. They said it's okay. They said it's because it assures us of a Christian nation. As long as Lungu tells you that you're going to be a Christian nation, it's okay. Let him destroy the country. We said no. And God was on our side. The plans of the enemy to destroy Zambian democracy were defeated. And if there is any contribution ever that I would have, that I would have made to our country was to stand up and speak for the people of Zambia and maintain the democratic integrity of this republic. And I'll never be ashamed of that. And if there's some Pentecostal preachers who feel like I did not toe the line, fear no if you, who are you? <laughs> you, yeah, you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's already been over an hour. Imagine. Over an hour. That is not good. Okay. Um, Alex Chano, by last Mujo is compare and contrast assaulting a police and giving. <laughs> God bless you. It is so fallacious of you to speak of the PF government being Pentecostal. What are you talking about? <laughs> and I've given you examples of how this, this, this government is actually a Pentecostal government. It listens to Pentecostals. Most influential religious leaders are Pentecostal. It is uh, things. Uh, it's, its religious behavior is Pentecostal. 
It's a theology is Pentecostal. So what are you talking about? It's Catholic. Anyway, God bless you, <laughs> and God bless our country. Thank you.